Hey guys, today we are painting with tea. So I bought a lot of tea for this video and I already unpacked it. You can see all those different kinds of tea. Uh, it's a lot. And then I put them in those different tiny plastic things and some bowls, whatever I could find to make some different colors. And I already did the sketch off camera because I changed a lot of things a lot of times and that's why I did it off camera. So this video is actually a collab with Suffer, who's another YouTuber and she's creating beautiful art pieces and I really love her channel and we had the idea to paint with tea together and I'm so excited to find out what she's been creating. So back to my piece here, it's a deer fox, I don't know if you know what that is but I watched the show on Netflix called Hilda and I was so inspired by it that I really wanted to draw a deer fox and then I found a picture on Pinterest where someone did a very beautiful deer fox and I was so inspired and I took it kind of a, as a reference. I changed it up quite a bit, but that was one of my references. So I thought that I would mention it. I kind of have to mention it because it still looks a bit similar. And I will link this picture in my description box just in case you want to check it out because it's so beautiful. And I wanted to draw this elf on top of the deer fox and it's not the kind of elf that you see in Hilda but it's a different kind and our theme was magical so that was the kind of magic that I came up with. I was debating whether I would do something like a witch or Halloween something with a spell but I really wanted to do something uh, with this deer fox and I haven't really been doing a lot of fan art but this time I really wanted to and now you see me starting to swatch those teas and I had a lot of different reds <laughs> so many red tones and uh, just a few of those lighter orange or yellow tones but now you can see the magic happen. This is so cool, guys. It was red and then it turned this silver grayish color. It's so amazing. I mean, look how cool it is. And that really felt magical. I think that was fitting with the theme. I'm sorry for the light because I filmed with daylight and it just kept on changing. You know how that is. Some clouds and dark light, dark light. Uh, it's hard. I tried to edit it out a little bit. S look at that color. Oh my god. It turns this beautiful color. And I wanted to make this elf quite simple. I wanted to make her look like a flower leaf. What do you call those? A peach? Is that a word? I don't know. Ah, I should really look those things up before I film. Well, and then I had this very beautiful orange color and I wanted to do the background and I thought that it would look cool if they were um, kind of running through this magical smoke color splash <laughs> I don't know what it really is but I think it looks kind of cool and oh my god I love this color palette so much when I found out that I had a gray tone I was so happy because I did really didn't expect those colors to work together so nicely I really wanted to find a blue but I just couldn't because 
tea isn't really blue <laughs> and it was kind of um I was really hoping for something like that for cooler tones and the color that I'm using right now was red as well but it's dried in a purple tone and that's so cool as well because I really wanted those colors because when I think of magic I think of blue and purple and I don't know why but that, those are the kinds of colors that I associate with magic and uh, yeah then I did the shading with that color kind of and I really had such a nice time with this because it smelled so nice in my room so many different kinds of tea you can't really imagine how that smelled I really encourage you guys to try this out to paint with tea it's a lot more fun than painting with coffee I can tell you that because coffee is kind of sticky and coffee smells not that nice after some time I really like the smell of coffee but after some time it really gets annoying Whereas the tea was a really nice experience for me. And yeah, I missed that part in the background first. Now I'm painting it. <laughs> it bothers me a bit to see it on screen. But at the time I really didn't notice. And yeah, you see what happened there. Well, everything was going way too well. Everything was nice. And that... I spilled tea and of course the red one but I think I fixed it quite well <laughs> I painted over top and I think the tea is quite forgiving it's even more forgiving than watercolors I think because when you wet it and then put a tissue on it you can get rid of a lot of this pigment I'm also kind of curious what this piece will look like in a few months from now because I'm absolutely sure that the colors will change. The orange will probably be brown and maybe even the purple tones will be brown. I'm debating whether I want to hang it up on the wall. I will obviously not sell this piece because I really can't sell anything that will change its colors over time so that's out of the question but maybe I will hang it up I don't know yet we had some spaces in our apartment where there's not a lot of sunlight so maybe but I really don't know what will happen to this piece after some time I'm kind of curious to find out yeah and then I really wanted this color to stay red and <laughs> Uh, it did a bit more it was a bit more red I really wanted the elf's dress to be red and I really didn't expect that I would have so many purple tones I bought all kinds of tea and guys that was <laughs> so interesting I went in the store and I told the lady I want to buy some tea and she said this tea is very very good it's tastes very good and I was like it doesn't have to taste good does it have a lot of pigment <laughs> you have to imagine her face um, I felt like a very strange person because I told her that I wanted to draw with the tea and uh, yeah <laughs> maybe I'm gonna show her the piece now because I think it turned out quite nice it's a bit a simpler piece, it's not too detailed, but I quite like it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you next time. So if you haven't seen it already, go and check out Suffer's video. I'm so excited to see hers and to see what she created. She gave me this clip and I think it already looks stunning and I'm so excited to see her art piece. And I'm also very curious what kind of colors she got. 
So you can see a little bit of it here. I think hers is very detailed. So, well, I'm already stunned just by looking at that. So go to her channel, show her some love and goodbye.